we haven't been out to the claim since we did that dig and we've had a lot of rain. So do you think the um, all the roads at the claim will be all right? Mate, I, I don't know to tell you the truth. We have another big rain event in Queensland, that lake will fill and, and if the bottom road closes, then that's it. That's the season done. That's a lot of water. Look at the water back up here. Oh, boys. Ah, look at this. Jesus. Ah, it's the end of that. Look at it coming in. That's a big body of water. You can forget about using that road, that's for sure. So we've got three roads that we use to get out to the Lemonade Claim, and uh, we've already got two of those three roads out of out of action because they're underwater. There's been a few big rain events in Queensland which come down and end up at the Cookran Lake, which you know we drive across to get to our mine. If the lake keeps filling, there's a chance that the third road can get covered in water as well, and then that's us done and dusted for the year. <laughs> Jeez. Last week, Chris and Oscar Cheel dug into the heart of an opal-rich pillar and produced a $27,500 haul. That's yeah. bloody good to me. <laughs> yeah, our target's 200000 for this year. If you think of the dismal year that we had last year, trying to make up for that, running costs, you know, that's really not a whole lot when you split it between us. We had 20 claims last year. We dropped back to 10, but we got a pillar on the ground that we want to take. Now Rory is joining brother Oscar and dad Chris for the first time this season. He'll provide extra manpower to continue their high stakes dig, removing the huge dirt pillar holding up the roof of the mine. Dad and I are happy to have Rory back. Yeah, that's not sustainable with two blokes. While I've been away, the boys have found a couple of nice pockets of opal leading into this pillar. So the pillar is definitely the best chance we've had finding opal in a while. Uh, well, we're gonna have to get this truck down at mine, but she's a bit wet. To start work, the Cheels need to get their 20-ton dump truck and heavy machinery across the only remaining open road to their mine. So at the moment, we're just preparing to um, prop for the pillar. We've put a pretty big hole in here over the last few years um, and there's a fair bit of weight displacement. So before we go any further, we need to prop the roof up so that when we take more weight, it's got something to come back onto and it doesn't come back on top of us. To avoid catastrophic mine collapse, the Chiels will need to prop the ceiling with cypress pine logs. I think it's roughly about 60 tonne per prop holds up. Um, so they're fairly solid. Obviously, taking pillars, you've got to put the props in because that's that's what's holding the ground up. So without these things, it'll come in and come in on top of us, and none of us want that. Yeah, so at the moment, this is the only bit of proven ground we have left. Um, we've got a lot of area to dig, but it's all just a guessing game at this point. So Dad will be digging by himself down here. Oscar and I will be upstairs, um, up the top on the drill rig to find our next spot to dig. Righto, boys, you might as well go up and get on that rig, eh? Yeah. Right, sounds like a plan. Just um, be safe down here, give us a yell. You'll um, be right down here by yourself, you'll old okay? Pop. Oh, I'll be a little bit lonely, a bit <laughs> lonely. <laughs> Thanks, boys. Where we've got the drill rig set up at the moment, we're probably about 100, 150 metres from our mine hole. So the idea of that is it's all virgin country out here. So if we can locate some trace out here and potential, you know, opal, uh, when we're finished the pillar, we can move all the gear over to this spot and start mining here. But definitely not an easy task. There's a long way between, you know, us and that. It could happen first hole, it could happen on the thousand hole. Opal, including minute amounts known as trace, is formed when silica-rich water fills cracks and voids in the earth and hardens over millions of years. My dad's underground by himself, so although you know, Rory and I have got our attention on the drill, we're keeping tabs on how he's tracking as well, making sure the buckets are coming up, making sure all the gear's running, because you know, if he runs into trouble down there, he's by himself. We're up here, we can't really hear or see what's going on. Look at that. Wow. Sort of like to see the digger right down through it. We've got green and 
nice blue. The boys will be happy about that. Here we go. The Chiels are at their wash plant, a converted cement mixer that uses over 800 litres of water to remove clay from excavated rock and expose opal. Yeah, we're running out of light. They're washing dirt Chris dug from the last pillar holding up their entire mine roof. The sun's acting pretty low, so, yeah, yeah, you don't want to be tailing out in the dark. We need light to be able to spot the opal, otherwise we miss stuff. But on the same trend, we can't go too fast because we miss stuff as well. We're trying to do it quick enough that we don't catch ourselves going too late. If we, if we just stick with it and do what we need to do, we should get through the tail out. Oh, please. Ooh. That's the clean and twisted. It's not a red orange on that side. Oh, look at the colour bar in that. Big ass. Right, that's jam. Hey! <laughs> that's him, boy. Look at that one. Oh, yes. That's triple barred, you know. Oh, look at that. Nice, beautiful little orange crystal. I can't get over it. Beautiful. Look at that. Clean as a whistle, Christopher. We're getting paid, boys. We've had a great week. We've had a real good week. <laughs> okay. uh, can't have a look in the light, eh? Nice blue-green parcel, isn't it? Mm. Hey, there's a big pile of definites. Oh, you can see straight away that most of them are going to cut. The chiels have small nodules of opal known as nobbies, featuring blue-green with flecks of rare red. In the rough, there's 90 grams. Boys. You look at these, like, they're all going to be, you know, $1,000. $1,000 stones. $1,000 stones, easy. You know, some, some are two, some are 3000 Look at that, you know. It's clean bar right around. It's probably a $3,000 stone there. You add that up, you're looking at 40 grand. Good stuff, boys. That's it, mate. 40K. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's stuff, mate. $40,000 in the tail out, feel bloody amazing. Huge figure. Considering we didn't get anywhere near the amount of dirt that we wanted to, 40 grand, yeah, is unbelievable. Yeah. Thanks for all the hard work, boys. That's it, boys. That's good. <laughs> we'll make a good little team, eh? Yeah. It's just unreal to be to be working with them, you know? Like, I'm, I'm pretty lucky. If we can do well this year out of April, you know, it'll be a dream come true, really. Cheers, boys. Cheers, fellas. <laughs>